Hi, do you guys ever get it where you're doing something, you're fully in the moment like I am here modelling and then you get completely distracted by something? That's what happened to me on this shoot when I was walking towards the camera and I caught sight of the most beautiful beetle ever. You should have seen this beetle. It was, it had like tinges of blue and it was just beautiful and I just had to share it with my student Carol. yeah it was it was really lovely to just see this little creature crawling along so i'm going to share some of that shoot with some results of the last shoot of me in, a, in the same outfit my bike leathers um and just explain why we shot it again really so the first time we shot it you might remember the shoot of me in the red thong and i wanted to shoot my bike leathers at the same time but we just shot this in the shade not exactly in the shade it was it was in the shade but it was lit from the front now i'm going to share these images with you but i just feel like they they're not classy and it these photos are just I think a photo can be sexy without being sexualized and that's kind of what I enjoy doing classy um, elegant photography and I just I felt like these with the posing I was really we were just mucking around having a really good time and being silly but the photography didn't turn out how I wanted it to so with the slightly cheeky photos and the flat light I just felt like it was a recipe for edging towards less tasteful photography, shall we say. So we reshot it and I just want to show you the difference it can make. Just obviously the posing makes a massive difference, but the lighting, this, this lighting on the second day, it was like side lighting coming slightly from behind me. And I just feel like it gives that other element when it's not flat it just gives a nice roundness and when you've got a well-lit photo it automatically just looks more professional and more stylish you know so these three photos i just gave a quick edit in lightroom the first black and white one this one and the next one and then i'm going to share some more unedited raw files with you at the end here and i just want to say um with my student carol here oh she's amazing like we've been friends for years so this was kind of um partly just as i said before just going out and having a laugh and just having really good fun and also just teaching her a bit of photography but all the ideas and all the kind of concepts here were um, my idea. So, you know, when I said earlier, just conscious, when I said, oh, the photos didn't turn out how I wanted, that's completely down to me because these were all my um, my experiments with the lighting and the outfits and everything. Carol was learning from my experimentation do you see what i mean so um what i'm really looking forward to is actually working with some students who have their own ideas and me being able to bring my imagination to somebody else's ideas i think that could be really interesting but carol did absolutely amazing in this situation so what we did was carol had never picked up my d3 before or my d800 she shot with both I just set the com I, computer, I set the camera up completely for her and then she just picked the camera up and shot me. And this has been such a fascinating kind of uh, journey for us both and I'm going to share very soon. Um, there's a lot more of this shoot coming up. I haven't shared all the photos, some of them are too risky and I haven't shared all the footage. Um, I will keep hold of that for potentially something i don't know can use it somewhere but definitely not on youtube or not on youtube in this style um but yes i want to share more about what makes carol such a fantastic photographer